What if an AI was always available while your code was running and you could use it at any time to make a judgment call? It only make you laugh, make you cry, whispering secrets to a pumpkin pie, living in a world where clocks can sigh, with a wink and a nod will tell you why it's clip on AI. It's clip on AI. AI has already completely changed the experience of writing software. But so far, it's mostly been focused on the software development process, suggesting code, providing conversational guidance, and helping with processes like adding tests and code reviews. As someone who has written a lot of features that utilize AI within the feature itself, I started wondering what it would be like if a language or framework natively supported AI and control flow. Would it be compelling to be able to sprinkle knowledge around within an app and easily have an AI make a judgment call as the code is running? Here's an example using a relatively simple construct that I call SwiftMind. I've been working on this iOS podcast app on and off for the past few years. I don't even remember why I started writing a podcast app. I think everybody does it at some point. Anyway, let's say I want to promote a new true crime podcast within my app, but I don't want to bother users who don't like true crime podcasts. With SwiftMind, I can decide whether or not to show the promo by simply asking the AI with a line of code. When the user goes to the podcast tab, the promo appears. Checking the console, I can see that SwiftMind also provides an explanation of why it decided to do this. In this case, it saw that the user is already subscribed to a true crime podcast and has played one episode. Note that the true crime podcast the user is subscribed to is completely made up. So if I tried to do this myself without AI, I might have a list of all the true crime podcasts that are known, but this one wouldn't be on it. The AI was able to figure out that this is probably a true crime podcast. To be able to make these types of decisions, I use SwiftMind's remember function to first tell it that this is a podcast app and then to sprinkle knowledge of what the user is doing throughout the app. This is all fed to the AI when it makes a decision and it uses this knowledge as it sees fit based on what I'm asking it to decide. Let's go back to the app. Now I'm gonna play an episode of that true crime podcast and uh, maybe I decide that I hate it. So I'm gonna give it lots and lots of thumbs down. Now, when I return to the podcast tab, the promo disappears. Checking the console, I can see that the AI has determined that even though the user subscribes to this true crime podcast, they appear to not like it. And so maybe they don't like true crime after all. At the moment, SwiftMind is merely 150 lines of code that calls the OpenAI API. And it only does three things. Remember some piece of information that may or may not be important. Ask it to make a true false judgment call. And decide on a query based on a list of possible responses. Of course, you could do all of this yourself with custom prompts, and there's really not much code behind SwiftMind anyway. But my hope is that framing it this way makes it so simple to integrate AI into control flow decisions that it changes the way you think about your code. Especially when making a judgment call, instead of breaking down a decision into heuristics or acquiring a data set to make an informed decision, you can leverage what the AI knows about the user and knows generally about the world from its massive knowledge base to make a decision on its own, making it a more streamlined and customized experience for the user. So that's what I've been thinking about lately. Let me know what you think. Let me know if this is a style of development that you would consider using in your apps.